Hey, hello and how are you? I'm Will Robinson Smith, your host of Old, New and Now Playing, joining you for another trailer reaction this week, and on deck we've got one that I'm very excited about. This is Ford v Ferrari. It's starring Matt Damon, Christian Bale, and John Barenthal, among many others. And the guy in the director's chair is none other than James Mangold, which, if you don't recall, he was the director of 2017's Logan, so... I love that movie. I'm guessing you probably love that movie. So I'm very excited to see this being his next project. It's about a race that happened between Ford and Ferrari, the title, um, that happened back in 1966. And it focuses on uh, Carol Shelby, who's played by Matt Damon, and Ken Miles, played by Christian Bale. Uh, Shelby was the uh, designer of the car. Miles was the driver. And they were trying to design this vehicle that could rival the Ferrari. Uh, the real Shelby died back in 2012, according to Automotive News, and as far as his like actual contributions in the automotive world beyond this singular moment, he was involved, quoting from them, uh, with vehicles like the Ford Powered Cobra Sports Car, uh, the first generation Shelby Mustang, and he also had a hand in the Dodge Viper Sports Car. So if you're a car aficionado, that's probably just skimming the surface of what you know about this guy. If you're not, like me, there's a little bit of a taste of who this guy was. So that's sort of what we've got going into this trailer. It's been getting a lot of buzz since it uh, debuted. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the first official trailer for Ford v Ferrari, if I can bring that up. Let's do it. Look out there. Out there is the perfect lap. You see it? I think so. Most people can't. Carol Shelby. Maybe. Lee I. Coke, Ford Motor. Suppose Henry Ford II wanted to build the greatest race car the world's ever seen to win the 24 hours of Le Mans. What's it take? Well, it takes something money can't buy. Money can buy speed. What well, in about speed? <laughs> you need a pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. I don't trust him an inch. We heard he's difficult. I no, no, like Ken's style a puppy dog. The world. No. Whatever it is, <laughs> Shell. No. Trust me. You're gonna build a car oh, to beat Ferrari with a <laughs> Ford. Correct. <laughs> and how long did you tell them that you needed? Two, three hundred <laughs> years? Ninety days. <laughs> This isn't the first time Ford Motors has gone to war. We know how to do more than push paper. Go ahead, Carol. Go to war. Thank you, sir. Do you think you can beat Ferrari? Not control. We're lighter, we're faster. That don't work, we're nastier. Damn. We're gonna make history. You ready? I was born ready, Mr. Shelby. I like the ending there. That, that was great. Um, and I liked it for, for a couple reasons. One, just because, obviously, you know, Matt Damon wasn't really driving that car like that, but um, you've got a lot of great stunt driving in here, which looks really good. But also just that moment where <laughs> the uh, Ford the second just completely panics and breaks down. It, it gives a nice tone of sort of what the, the sense of humor of this movie is going to be. So, you know, I like that part of the vibe. I think this has a really just cool style to it. Um, you know, James Mangold, you know, we've seen him direct action really well in, in Logan, and he was also not the greatest movie, which obviously, which is why they don't include it here, but he was the director of The Wolverine, um, and up until the last bit of The of the Wolverine, you know, there was great action and a, a good sense of 
pace, I thought, to that movie as well as to Logan. Um, haven't seen Walk the Line, so I, I can't really comment on that one. But, you know, I, I really, I like the sort of back and forth between Damon and Bale. I think their chemistry is going to be really good. The little bit of John Barenthal that we saw up top, I, I liked. Um, you know, I, I think this, this movie just has a really good, satisfying look to it. And, you know, it's, it's coming out in November, so it feels like something that they're definitely going to, the studio is probably going to be pushing hard for this one uh, come award season. And I think some of the performances will probably rise to that level as far as like what we've seen in the trailer. Obviously, it's just a trailer, so you can't fully judge it on it. But as far as what we've got so far, I think it looks solid. Um, I'm really excited for this. I, I like the look. I like the sound um, scape that they've created, the, the way that they've designed the races, the, the camera angles, the, the way that they've worked the action for the cars to break apart. I think that all looks pretty darn good. So let me know what you think now. Jump at the comments section. Let me know, are you excited for this trailer? And what were some of the moments that jumped out at you that made you either really excited for, maybe a little bit apprehensive? And uh, what are you looking forward to most about this movie? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That will do it for this trailer reaction. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful day doing whatever you're going to be doing. Make sure to be good to yourself, be good to others. And as always, I will see you next time.